one of the best ones by far so far, guys. I'm so excited to be here. Let's get ready to kick this off. Hey, want to give a big shout out to the leadership of the company before I get going. Um, Glenn Sanford, our fearless leader. Can you put in the comments, go Glenn, go Glenn. Just want to give a shout out to our leadership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Glenn. Jason Gesson, Dave and Stacy, our presidents, Michael Valdez, International Growth, um, Judy Slack and her awesome, amazing staff here at, at EXP. Yeah, yeah, guys. So give a big shout out, a clap, a dance or something for the amazing leadership we have here at EXP Realty. Uh, man, so amazing and so excited for all the people, the new agents that have just joined EXP who's come aboard. Uh, just excited for you. Get ready for amazing, amazing, amazing ride. I uh, want to give a shout out to my sponsors, Mike and Tara Houston with Legacy Builders Global. Um, you know, they were the ones that approached me about a little over eight years ago, guys, about EXP Realty, and I'm so, so glad they did. Uh, my life has definitely been changed since being here at EXP Realty. Oh, man, awesome, awesome. All right. Thank you. Awesome, guys. Wow. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Rizik from Shreveport, Louisiana, served about 11 years in the United States Marine Corps, guys. Had some of the most prestigious duties as a Marine. Uh, worked at the White House, guys, traveling on Air Force One around the world with President Clinton, um, the Clinton administration, a little bit of time with the Bush administration. Also was in diplomatic security as a Marine, guys. Worked at the American embassies abroad uh, down in Central America and also in the Middle East, guys. Um, been a realtor since 2006. Got my license actually while I, I got into real estate while I was working at the White House, guys. Me and a partner of mine, we were wholesaling and um, wholesaling and flipping houses in D.C. Um, became a realtor in 06 in Northern Virginia. I am in the Northern Virginia, Maryland, Washington, D.C. area. So um, joined EXP back in 2013, guys, and I was agent 118. Again, big shout out to my sponsors, Mike and Tara Houston. Um, I was agent 118 here at EXP Realty, guys, and um, been a, a really an amazing, amazing journey just seeing the growth of the company, uh, where we were back then to where we are now. Of course, a lot of that, that you know, that has uh, benefits and uh, for being that early on in the company. Guys, I got a lot of stock at EXP Realty. <laughs> so um, it has definitely changed my life, changed my family's life as well. Uh, we're three-time icon agents, guys. And, and one of the things that I want to mention is that, you know, before coming over to EXP, guys, before coming to EXP, I had, I had five transactions, guys, four closes, you know, uh, sales and one rental, guys, made a whopping $25,000. So you can imagine what my price point was back then. But when I came over to EXP, that's when the magic started, guys. That's when the magic happened with all the technique, not all the technology, the training, the collaboration, the community, everybody just having a vested interest in my success. You know, that's when things started happening. So just a couple of years later now, guys, we're on our way to four-time icon agent this year, um, certified luxury marketing specialist, and we got a growing revenue share group um, around the country in eight states right now. So we're excited. Uh, this class here is going to be about kind of pick up where Nakia Evans left off with, you know, she gave us some amazing tips on how to go out and attract agents. But this one here is going to be talking about how to um, create this dream team revenue share group to put some organization around your group and, and some co community and communication and, and really being able to pour back into those agents and build leaders, guys. So I'm excited about it. About three years ago, you know, Lashree and I had a vision to really start meeting with our group on a regular basis, guys, for years. We were going strong. We were going Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern time for about an hour with coaching, mentoring, training, and collaboration, and just accountability and support with our agents, you know, and uh, we're still going strong over three years later, guys, and we've scaled it back a little bit. We're Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I'm going to talk about that in this class here about what we've done to really um, you know, inspire our ages. Now we got campers coming out of our group. We got our first icon uh, that's coming here in probably within the next few weeks, it's gonna hit icon coming out of our group just because of what we created with our dream team. And that's what we call our group, the dream team. So let me go forward here to some of my slides. So this is what we're gonna be talking about guys, um, building that, that 
the dream team revenue share group why build a, a dream team we're going to be talking about following the leader you know leveling up as a leader of a group um developing that powerful group vision and mission statement uh, a calm plan guys that's what we call it back in the military our military folks out there you know what a calm plan is guys so we're going to be talking about that communications plan uh weekly meeting i'm going to really take you inside one of our meetings and show you our agenda just like we run our meetings guys and they're so inspiring they're so just pumped up and, and just fired up guys the agents are really um doing more in sales they're leveling up in every area of their life not just in business real estate we talk about a little bit of everything guys being better you know better spouses you know better fathers family you know saving credit and we'll get into all that in just a few minutes guys and just be, um in some of the training topics so i'm gonna take you right into a meeting and, and share with you a, a lot of like some of the topics that we actually um talk about in our meetings okay so why build a dream team revenue share group guys let's get into it why build a dream team revenue how many y'all know that real estate can be a lonely place put it in the comments guys how many y'all know that real estate can be a lonely place i don't know if many of y'all remember that movie from tom hanks hanks on castaway you know, you're out on the deserted island. You just wonder where your next meal coming from. You can't see nobody in sight, guys. You all out there by yourself on a, on a deserted island. That's how real estate can be, guys. Luckily, you know, we're fortunate here at EXP. We got this awesome Verbella. And we got this awesome EXP world and workplace. So it shouldn't really happen here at EXP. But, guys, real estate can still be a lonely place. So we have a mentality in our group that no person left behind no person left behind we want to be able to create a tribe guys we want to create that collaboration that transparency just have fun how many y'all know fun in real estate is a lot funner when you're doing it with other people when you got some other people that you can lean on i was always able to call mike and tara call guy allen you know call some of the people that introduced me to exp and that's what made the difference for me guys so we want to have that, that mindset that you know we don't want to leave anybody behind. We don't want to just be, you know, you know, recruiting and attracting people and leaving them by themselves. We want to have the mindset. We want to bring value to their life. We want to help them. We want to support them. We don't want to just be signing up people and leaving them. Does that make sense, everybody? So we're creating a tribe. We're building those relationships, you know, support and training without even having to, you know, split a commission. It's not like joining a team, a traditional team. We run our team just like a traditional team with all the help, the support, collaboration, even leads and everything, but we don't have to, you know, share commission. We have a saying on our team is that we share everything except commission. So it's all of that help and that support that you get by being on the dream team. All right, let me go to the next slide here. Uh -oh. All right, guys. So another reason that you know we build a dream team is to like keep agents connected to EXP Realty. You know, we want to remind our agents that man, we got it good here. How many of y'all? Because in the comments, we have it good here at EXP Realty. We want to keep them connected to EXP Realty. You know, talking it up, you know, it's, you know, sometimes agents can get into this funk where they think that the grass is greener on the other side, guys. But no, we got the best of all worlds here at EXP Realty. Somebody put in the comments, we love EXP Realty. We love EXP. Put it in the comments, guys. So we keep our agents connected to EXP Realty, getting them to the events. You know, showing them the calendar, you know, talking up the leadership of the company, talking about the training. Guys, we get 60 the 80 hours of live training here at EXP Realty, the technology, the model. So we want to keep people connected and joined to EXP Realty by providing the help, the coaching, the mentor, and accountability, helping people sell more real estate. Does that make sense, y'all? So that's what we, we do here. We want to keep our people connected. We want to provide that coaching, mentoring, accountability to increase production, guys. If you coach your agents, if you help your agents, guess what? Your revenue share check goes up. Does anybody want their revenue share check to go up? Put it in the comments, guys. You want your revenue share check to go up? <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, go way up. Exactly, guys. So you got to start helping your agents. You've got to start being a leader. You got to start pouring into your agents, sharing everything. That's the culture here at EXP is that we help, we give back, we support. It's not just a secret somewhere of you know how agents are being successful. We pour back into the agents, guys, providing that revenue share group with motivation, inspiration, and encouragement, guys. And that's what we do with our dream team several times a week. And that's why we're seeing and experiencing so much success in our group because um, they're connected. All right, let's talk about following the leader. How many leaders do we have in this room? It should be about 221, but how many leaders? Guys, put in the comments, so you're a leader. Say, I'm a leader, I'm a leader. I'm a leader. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yep. Yeah. I'm a leader, I'm a leader, yep. Yeah. Karen says she's a leader. Hey, we leader, I'm a leader. Guess what, guys, leaders lead. Leaders lead, put that in the comments, somebody, leaders lead. So we, every day, guys, I'm fired up. You got to be fired up as the leader. I heard Gogo say more energy, more money. Put that in the comments, somebody. More energy, more money. More energy, more money, guys. As the leader, you got to lead from the front. That's one of the things I think I learned back in the day in the Marine Corps. We lead from the front, guys. So you got to be the type of leader that levels up. You leading by example. Being transparent, guys. I want to keep kicking it. Um, I'm going to touch on that in just a minute, but... How many of y'all, you know, if you from my back, back in my, you know, you grew up in the 70s and 80s, how many of y'all remember that game, uh, the, you know, um, follow the leader? How many of y'all remember follow the leader? How many of y'all ever played follow the leader? Yeah, yeah. Did y'all play follow the leader? <laughs> so, <laughs> God, I remember playing follow the leader. You know, you raise your kid, you see the little kids raising their little hand up in the air. They want to be the leader. But God, I took the liberties, right? I took the liberty of looking up the word, look, looking this game up. I say, everything's on Google now. So I Google follow the leader. I'm going to reach out a definition of follow the leader. Follow the leader, they say, is a children's game. First, a leader or head of the line. Y'all remember that? Wanted to be the head of the line is chosen. Somebody put in the comments, I'm chosen. I'm chosen. First, the leader or head of the line is chosen. Then the children all line up behind the leader. Wow. The leader then moves around and all the children have to mimic the leader's actions. Man, any players who fail to follow or do what the leader does are all out of the game. Guys, I thought that was so profound, that definition of follow the leader, guys. So that's kind of what we have to apply to our leadership with our revenue share group, guys. If you desire to be a leader of a group, you got to be the leader. You got to lead by example. You got to you got to do activities where other people you should be doing the things that other people should want to do, and, and they're going to be following you. So, what are your followers seeing? What are the people in your group seeing? You know, do you have good habits or bad habits? Mm. Are you being transparent? I'm transparent. You know, I don't want my agents to go through everything that I went through. They don't have to. If I'm the leader of the group, guys, I have to show them what works and what didn't work. I got to show them my successes, but also my failures. Is that right, y'all? Can somebody put it in the chat? Is that, does that make sense? So the, the followers, the team members take on the spirit of the leader. Your members. Your follow, your agents that you're attracting take on the spirit of the leader. Can I get one amen in the comments? <laughs> so are you leading by example? The good, the bad, the ugly. Are you teaching them what not to do? Are they learning from your mistakes? You know, I tell my agents, I'm eight years in, but, you know, I should have been more focused on agent attraction. Uh-oh. I should have been more focused on agent attraction early on. So transparency, guys, just being real with your people. So celebrate successes, kudos, individual wins. How many of y'all know that you are the chief encourager officer? Let's see here. How many of y'all know, how many CEOs do we have in the room? You're the chief encourager officer. 
genuinely caring and concerned about each person that you attract to EXP Realty, guys, you got to encourage them. You got to be the chief encourager officer. People going through situations, going through issues, guys. This is, we're still in a pandemic, especially back in 2020 as the leader, guys. I had to level up and really double down on my leadership and encouragement because, man, it was hard on agents. It was hard in the real estate industry. We didn't know what to do last year this time. It was, it was crazy. We were still trying to get our bearing, trying to figure this thing out. So somebody had to encourage them that, hey, guys, in spite of what we're going through, in spite of all the issues, everything that's happening in 2020, this still can be your best year ever, guys. And we saw a lot of agents on our group, they had their best year ever in the business, guys, because again, the leader leads, the members and the agents pick up the spirit of the leader. A leader must be have the heart and be, have a heart to become a servant leader, guys. You gotta be willing to lead from the heart and become a servant leader. How many servant leaders do we have? You're a servant leader. Say, I'm a servant leader. I'm a servant leader. You give back, you help, you support. Yeah, yeah, I'm a servant leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said, like Jesus. I know that's right. I'm a servant leader. Guys, you're helping, you're serving, you better serve to give value, to bring value to those agents. A leader must be committed. Somebody put in the comments, committed. Guys, you got to be committed. How many of y'all committed? You got to be committed. You got to be committed, guys. Committed to help them grow their business as a person. I'm committed to helping them build their character, teaching them how to be good agents, how to do, you know, and operate their business the right way out in the marketplace, representing the company, representing the team, representing EXP Realty. You got to be committed, guys, a committed servant leader. And consistency, somebody put in type consistency, consistency. Am I consistent? Am I committed? Do I show up every single day as the leader of the group, guys? We're talking about leading a group, guys. This may or may not be for everybody, but if you want to be a leader, if you want to lead a group, guys, this is some of the characteristics of that leader that you got to be committed. You got to have consistency. You got to show up. Your folks shouldn't wonder, are we going to have a meeting today? Are we meeting today? They shouldn't have to wonder. They shouldn't wonder, they have to wonder how you're going to show up. Are you going to be sad today? Are you going to be down and out and depressed? Because you're the leader. Must bring value, guys. Capitalizing on the experience in the group. I got some amazing leaders in the group, guys. I know I don't know if you guys will be able to hear from them, but I got some amazing leaders in our group. So I capitalize even on their experiences, not just about me, but it's also their experiences that everything, everybody can collectively bring to the table in the group. Creating camaraderie. There's no competition in the group. Anything is friendly competition, but it's not this cutthroat type stuff that you see on a lot of teams in, the, in companies. A team culture of sharing and collaboration. A leader must represent the core values of EXP Realty. Guys, we're representing the company. We're not trying to create our own company. We're connected and joined to the company. I'm always talking up the company. I don't let nobody talk about EXP Realty. <laughs> anybody else? Do I have anybody else like that that has that much? We don't let nobody talk about our company. <laughs> guys, so I have to straighten things out. Guys, it's always, it's, you know, it's not always going to be perfect. You know, commission may not hit the, you know, things may happen. It may not get deposited this day. Things happen, guys. But as the leader, you correct it. You get out front in front of it and you address it. But you're representing the company. You're an extension of the leadership of the company. We're all leaders. Somebody put in the chat, I'm a leader. I'm a leader. Guys, we're talking about leadership. Represent the core values of the company, guys. Community, transparency, collaboration, service, fun, and integrity. We're representing EXP Realty. Leaders should believe in the, vis the vision and the mission of EXP Realty, guys. That's why it's so important for you to stay plugged in. Those early days of EXP, even though I was a dual career agent, I was always plugging into that, that leadership call at 11, 11 a.m. on Eastern time on Fridays. 
always wanted to see what was going on. Now, guys, we have workplace. We have workplace. We have, you know, the world. We have the leadership meetings and all the other things that goes on at EXP. Shareholders, big kudos to everybody for being here at Shareholders. So for plugging in and getting connected to the vision and mission of the company. All right, guys, let's talk about the call plan. Let's talk about the communication plan. So this is how we stay in touch with our folks, guys. We meet on a regular basis. Um, we, we have weekly Zooms. Team Text Club, WhatsApp, WhatsApp. We utilize WhatsApp a lot. You know, I tell the agents that, you know, I'm attracted to the company and we're gonna plug you into a tribe, a family. Whenever you have a question about anything, you can put it into our WhatsApp group. And somebody, you know, several people are gonna answer your question. As a leader, I didn't wanna be that single point of failure. So I wanted to plug them into a system where they can always have access to each other and one another. Everybody has experiences. We got some very experienced agents on our team. So we utilize WhatsApp. We have a private Facebook group that we celebrate folks and we just post things and we put information out there, email, live Zoom, you know, live events, Zoom, EXP world events. We may meet up in the world sometime. So. Guys, these are the ways that you can stay connected to your people. But again, intentionally put some organization to your group. Intentionally put some organization to your group. Yep, we meet up about three times a week. All right, I see some of my dream. Big shout out to my our dream team family that's all in here today. Thank you all for joining us. All right, guys, so I'm going to take you all into a meeting. I'm going to take you all into a, a typical dream team uh, meeting. And of course, we start out with our vision and mission and statement. We start out with our vision and mission statement at every on, on all of our calls uh, because it's so important that everybody get the vision and mission, have some type of vision and mission, something that they're focused on. Um, so we read it every day, guys. And so I'm going to read it out now. So develop a strong and inspirational mission statement. You know, we start out each one of our calls is that like the mission of the dream team is to have this collaborative community agents who inspire and support each other to transform our real estate business and go to the next level and start living at that next level, guys. And sometimes I may take a pause right there so agents can think about what does that mean? Let's let's go around the room. What does that mean to you? Start living at the next level. Can somebody put in the comments? What does that mean to you living at the next level? going to the next level. Can you put in the comments, what does that mean to you? Living at that next level. Next financial level of freedom, I know that's right. Yeah, financial freedom, more generous. Yep, being able to give more, do more, freedom. Yeah. So living at that next level, guys. And then we get them focused on becoming cappers and icon agents with EXP Realty earning over $100,000 a year. How many of y'all want to earn a strong six-figure income every single year in the business? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. How many of y'all like that, that, that mission statement? See, EXP has put these amazing milestones in place, guys, to become cappers and then to aspire to become an icon agent. How many icons do we have in the room? I don't care if you've never hit it before, but how many of you believe that you can be an icon in this company? You got to believe it first. Yeah, yeah, icons. That should be 203 icons in here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 2X, if you hit it once, go for it again. Yeah. So every meeting starts out like this, guys. We want everybody to focus on capping. That's your first milestone. That's your first goal here at EXP is to become a capper. And then we're going to show you how to cap quicker. We're going to compress time frame so you can start capping sooner in order for you to do 20 more transactions after capping, guys. So we talk about that a lot. And our vision is to build a legacy. We're legacy builders by creating long-term passive residual income through the EXP revenue share program by personally attracting as many agents to your revenue share group as possible, guys. So every meeting, again, we get folk, people focus on these three things. We're we're looking to cap. We want to set a goal to hit icon, and we want to continue to help and be participate in the growth of the company, guys. We want to participate in the growth of the company. EXP is on a mission to be the largest real estate company in the world, and we want to be a part of it, guys. So I tell agents, it's just a matter. It's not a matter of if, but it's when. It's when those agents are going to come on the e come over to EXP Realty, and are they going to be coming under you? 
So we hit this vision statement. We want to remind everybody that age and attraction, make it a part of your, if you, if you choose to, <laughs> but make this a part of your, your routine, your weekly plan, your schedule that you spend some time talking about, you know, agent attraction, talking to agents about EXP Realty, just like Nakia said, she telling them about the model, explain, sending the video, having those conversations about EXP Realty. All right. You, you guys okay? Y'all good out there? All right, guys. So I'm going to take y'all into a weekly meeting. Guys, this is what our meeting looks like. You all now in, in a dream team meeting. It's 8 a.m. in the morning Eastern time. Some of you may still be have a little sleep in your eyes, but hey, <laughs> we're in the meeting now. So first of all, as the leader of the group, this is our agenda right here. The meeting starts on time. The meeting starts on time, guys. Our meetings never, you know, your people shouldn't have to wonder, are we meeting today? They shouldn't be in the waiting room 10, 15 minutes after the meeting was supposed to start. Does that make sense, y'all? <laughs> so the meeting starts on time. We say our welcome. We welcome everybody to our dream team meeting. You know, this is our dream. We call it our dream team seven figure club. We, it was a six figure club, but we did a vote. Everybody wanted to be the seven figure club. We want to be, hey, I, we want to make a goal of earning over a million dollars a year, either in sales or revenue share group or equity ownership in the company. We welcome everybody. We say that vision and mission statement. Get a brief accountability. Uh, welcome any new agents that join the company. Have them introduce themselves. Any guests, any mentees that are on it. Because in, in our group, they're welcome to bring guests. They, they're welcome to bring agents that they're talking to about EXP Realty. Um, they're mentees. They're welcome because we have some certified mentee, mentors in our group as well. Then we do a safety moment. Uh, you know, we, we talked about safety practices as agents. You know, safety practices for, you know, especially, you know, the young ladies who are on our team who are out showing homes. Be careful. Be safe. Um, even the men. Uh, COVID-19, we talk about COVID, still wearing your mask. We're still in the midst of a pandemic. Use, use the sanitizer. We talk about, you know, vaccination spots that you can go to be vaccinated. We talk, we have that moment where we talk about some type of safety type thing. Then we have a moment where kudos. Hey, does anybody have any kudos? Anybody like to thank on the team? Put it in the comments, guys. You guys are in the meeting. Anybody, anybody want to give them a shout out to? that may have helped you out and supported you in any way, put it in the comments right now. Anybody you want to give a shout out to? Want to give a shout out to Glenn Sanford, this amazing company, or Jason Gesson, or Michael Valdez for taking us to all, you know, about 100 different countries. <laughs> so anybody you want to give a shout out to, guys, you're in the meeting. Type your kudos. Type your kudos in the comments. Yeah. Anybody you may have helped you out or supported you in any way. Then, guys, we go into wins, accomplishment, accomplishments, activities. We want to know what's going on in your business. What's going on in your business, guys? So this becomes that accountability meeting. Guys, I'm going to tell you a secret. This is the secret of my success of how I've been able to, you know, multi-year capper from, you know, maybe about six years straight capping, but also going into my fourth icon award here real soon, guys, because the group becomes my accountability group. As the leader, I have to lead from the front. How many of y'all know that's true? As a leader, you have to lead from the front. So I have to do what I'm telling them to do. So I have to lead in sales and in production as well. So this has been my secret sauce to hitting icon because I have an accountability group. So accountability with some wins. Guys, put some wins in the comments. What's some wins from this week? Can you put some wins in the comments? Some things that we can celebrate. Some things that are going well in your business. Can you put them in the comments? What's some wins? Let me go to this next slide here. There we go. Wins, accomplishments, activities. What's going well in your business? Okay. My wins are getting to listen to you. All right. <laughs> new buyers, listings, agents. Who got some new listings? Who got a new buyer? Who got a signed listing agreement? Who got a new agent that's joining? These are our wins, guys. Yeah, three, oh my gosh, 33 agent team joined in Minnesota. Awesome, congratulations. So this is the time that we celebrate wins, guys. This is an important part of the meeting because again, you know, 
agents are out there they want to come to the meeting to be able to share a win share something that's going awesome in their business i had a closing yesterday got a closing coming up in friday got two closes today the they we want to hear the win so it's a huge part of our meetings guys we spend a lot of time right there just celebrating one another we may talk about a book of the month what are you reading because somebody put in the comments what book are you reading what book are you reading right now what book are you reading right now put in the comments 10x i know that's right i got that one on audio yep going through that one again myself yeah grant cardone big shout out to grant cardone too and his wife coming over to exp all right guys training topics yeah knowledge oh awesome yep miracle morning that's a great one yeah in order to believe it just taking all right good good and then guys we get into some training topics and i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna give you an example of some of the training topics that we get into um th that really helps our members really go to that next level in their business did i go too far let's see here let me go there we go so here are some of our training topics i'm taking y'all into to a dream team meeting guys these are some of the topics again it's all about adding value all about adding value to the agents that are coming into your group the first one is the importance of having that morning routine how many of y'all have a powerful morning routine we talk about morning routines. We talk about goal setting. By now, you should have your goals written down. Your 2021 goals should be written down, guys. <laughs> You're a little late if you have not done it, but we talk about goal setting. What are your goals? What are your goals, guys? What do you see? Clarity. You know, we talk about if you fast forward all the way to December 31st, you should have that level of clarity where you'll be able to tell me exactly what you accomplished in 2021. Creating a vision board. Mindset training. Guys, we spend a lot of time talking about mindset. How many of y'all know that mindset is everything? Mindset is everything. In mindset training, guys, we talk about, you know, what, what are some things that are not working in your business? You know, what are some things that's blocking your flow? Can somebody put in the comments, don't block my flow. Don't block my flow. <laughs> we talk about the flow. What's constricting the flow? See, a lot of times we get comfortable with the little trickle that's been coming out, but it's supposed to be a gush like a fire hose. But we're so comfortable with the trickle that's coming through, we don't even realize it's supposed to be gushing out like a fire hose. But so we spent some time with mindset identifying those things that may be blocking our flow. Like, you know, not doing the right work, having that lazy spirit, not wanting to work hard, creating a creative avoidance. Um, you're not keeping your word on some things, not keeping your word, too much debt, not willing to change, mindset of lack and defeat, no accountability, you know, no schedule, unforgiveness, relationships, not being a giver, not, you know, not operating in the law of reciprocity, no listing presentation, no systems, no consistent morning routine, too much clutter on your desk, you know, not following up, not time blocking. We talk about all those things during that mindset training, guys, that could be blocking the flow from pouring into your business for the business just to be flowing to you. We talk about daily money making activities. Can somebody put some daily money making money making activities in the comments? What are some things that you do every day to make money in this business? What are some daily money making activities, guys? Write these down. We're gonna have some of these rock stars in here talk about some daily money making activities, lead generation, making calls. Yeah, phone calls, prospecting, following up. Guys, these are your daily money making activities. Yeah, listing appointments. Yeah, yeah a snapshot of these things guys social media marketing lead generation brainstorming how to get more listings especially in this market guys with low inventory we spend a lot of time talking about how to get more listings how to have that winning listing presentation how to write winning offers mastermind discussions yeah i think someone's going to share these slides someone from the, um, the staff is going to put it in here toward the end mastermind discussions building a lucrative database guys we talk about discipline how y'all many y'all know that it's all about discipline you got to have discipline we heard the keynote speaker talking about that earlier you got to have discipline takes discipline how many y'all believe it takes discipline to be successful in this business 
staying in faith, having an expectation. In our dream team group, we have a culture of expectation, guys. We expect to get a new referral, a new client every single day, guys. That's the culture that we have. Again, the leader leads, the, the members of the group, the followers pick up the spirit of the leader. I expect to get new business every single day. So expectation, having that discipline to make the calls, the contacts, to shoot the videos, the text messages, takes discipline to cap and hit icon, guys. We talk about discipline a lot, reviewing your goals, having that positive mindset, that positive you know, um, attitude, being accountable, saying your daily affirmations and affirmations like uh, Nakia Evans was talking about, learning your scripts and your presentation, following up with leads, having that consistent, write this guy down guys, consistent predictable action will create consistent predictable results. I learned that from one of our new ages that's coming aboard. Consistent predictable action will create consistent, predictable results. Somebody put that in the chat. Put it in the comments, guys. Consistent, predictable action will create consistent, predictable results. Making those calls. Contacting folks on a regular basis. Talking about real estate. We talk about how to build a, you know, a 10 million plus sales from past clients and sphere of influence, guys. 2020, guys, I almost did 20 million in real estate. Personal production, just from past clients, sphere of influence, those no like and trust relationships, guys. 18 million and some change. Some of them spilled over to 2021 because of the market and just no inventory. All from referrals, database, past clients, sphere of influence. So it's no secret, guys. I share it with my folks how we actually do that. What are the consistent, predictable things that I do on a consistent basis? Agent attraction. We talk about agent attraction. We talk about personal finances, credit, taxes, how to run a business. How many of y'all know that agents are good at a couple of things? Are very bad at, <laughs> except paying taxes and taking care of our, and saving money. So we talk about it, guys. We talk about the importance of having good credit, even as agents, being able to buy investment properties, being in a position, you know, not just, you know, talking the talk, but walking the walk, being what we, we tell our clients. We tell our clients to make sure, you know, you have saving amount, certain amount saved up and make sure you're keeping your credit good. So we tell us, we talk about these things. Is that okay, y'all? We talk about having good credit personal finances. We got some tax experts even in our team making good investments. Accountability. Accountability is so important, guys. We, we even pair up some of our agents. You can choose to have an accountability partner if you choose to. But guess what? You got to be accountable. That accountability partner shouldn't be chasing you down. And sometimes we just have gratitude calls, guys. Like we started out, you know, what are you thankful for? What are you grateful for? Let me go through the slides here. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, guys. So that kind of brings us down to the end. My time is about up. Really appreciate everybody participating. Um, I don't know if anybody, I don't think you, you guys can talk in the audience. If any of our dream team folks want to give a shout out, maybe you can put it in the comps, in the comments. I don't think, um, I don't think you guys are able to speak, but want to thank everybody. Yes, yeah, somebody, uh, I think they're going to share the slides in the uh, in the chat box here. Any questions? Any questions or anything, guys? Thank you. Thank you. Dream Team in the house. Big shout out to Dream Team. Thank you all so much. Semper Fi. Hoorah. <laughs> Got some Marines in the house. Awesome, awesome, guys. I think that was the final session. If we have any questions, I guess I'll look in the chat. I forgot we can't speak, but I'll I'll look in the chat box here for any questions anybody may have. Are these daily, weekly? Oh, it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, guys. Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. I'm telling you, we for over two years we were going hard. We were going hard. <laughs> Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern time. My son just graduated from Marine last week. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations, Manny. 
It'll never be the same again. Awesome. One of the big moments in my life, you know, the turning points in my life, you know, going to the Marine Corps and, uh, you know, a couple of big things, Marines, uh, you know, my church and EXP Realty, life changing uh, moments and events and organizations that really impact my life, guys. EXP Realty going on over eight years here at EXP and it has been life changing um, with the equity ownership, you know, we're We've, we've earned a lot of money. We're certified luxury marketing specialists now. So I was that guy before EXP Realty. I had four closings. I made a whopping $25,000. Now, fast forward a few years later, we've made, you know, over seven figures in commissions. And uh, we're seven figure equity owners here at EXP Realty as well. Multiple seven figure. So you're in the right place at the right time, guys. Yes, the weekly meetings are well supported. And come, you guys, and I got rock stars that don't, you know, they chime in, they stay connected with me, but they may not be able to make it. Some of them are prospecting that in the mornings, uh, but we still have avenues. They may not be on the meetings, but they're, they participate in the WhatsApp. They're asking questions or they're answering questions. They're celebrating people. Like we have cappers and everybody's saying congratulations, they're capping or somebody's birthday. So they stay connected in other ways. Everybody may not come to the meetings, but they're still connected or they have an avenue for it, especially the new agents. It's so needed for new agents to be uh, connected and joined to other agents and have somebody really be able to pour into them and inspire them and show them the way, show them how it's done. Um, the slide link, and anybody from the staff can put the slide link in here. Anybody? I am not able to do it. Thank you guys so much. Oh, there we go. There it is. Awesome. All right, guys, any other questions? Thank you all so much. Guys, just leave from the front. You'll see your, your revenue share grow. My revenue share is nowhere in there where it should be. I told you I guys that, that earlier. Um, if I had to do it all over again, guys, I'd have been focused like crazy on rev share. But guys, uh, you know, you're, this is the, the greatest time ever right now to talk to agents about exp realty so this is the best time so i'm getting ready to make up for lost time <laughs> but revenue share is still you know few thousand every month guys my, my my mortgage is paid for and i'm in northern virginia my house is not too shabby and uh my mortgage is paid for all my bills car payments everything is paid for every single month with revenue share so um absolutely My pleasure, my pleasure, Chris. Any other questions, guys? Let's go out there and do it, guys. EXP, looking forward to uh, EXP Con in November. Remember to leave from the front. You're in the right place at the right time, guys. I hear, I can hear why you, oh, okay, awesome, awesome, man. I'm, I'm just fired up, excited, enjoy helping people. Like I said, most of my clients come from those no like, and trust relationships, uh, from posting on social media. Um, people on social media, my Facebook group, they know, you know, just maybe three big things about me, that I'm, you know, I'm a family man, I'm a church man, I go to church on Sundays with my family, and I sell real estate, guys, <laughs> so. I let everybody, I do a great job, I think, of letting everybody know that I sell real estate. And I do it, you know, and something else I intentionally do is train, show people, and tell people how to refer business to me. If you know anybody that's thinking about buying or selling real estate, have them call me and also get their number, ask them is okay to pass their number on to me. So I do, I do that, guys. I, I, I have a big referral network, and I show people, and I educate them, tell them exactly how to refer a business to me. So you got to do that. Okay, I think that's about it. Thank you all so much. Take care. Thanks, Dream Team. Legacy Builders, thank you.